Hello again everyone, welcome to Landric Plays, welcome to Oxygen Not Included, and welcome to the Space Lab. Space Lab? Space Pad, that's the one. So, here are all our little duplicates, Ooh, disinfecting all of these uh, horrible bathrooms. Everyone's just woken up, it is cycle 20, we have uh, quite a bit of food. Uh, we're worried that some of it is going to go off, so we are probably going to try and deal with that fairly shortly. Aha, our supercomputer is up and running, which is good, it means we can... Uh, Start working towards the refrigeration thing as soon as it's uh, as soon as it's wired up. So we'll just uh, just up the priority of this one a little bit. Not that it matters because Alyssa's busy uh, busy researching at the research bench. Um, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of power stored, so we're going to want to put down some generators. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff we want to do. So we're going to put down some generators. I think that's going to be fairly fairly uh, fairly mandatory fairly soon. We're going to want to start our plumbing system, so I might mine down here and set that up down here. We might even connect these two reservoirs. And then as a result of that, we're going to need to set up a, um, a wastewater um, a reservoir, I guess. Sort of just to somewhere to dump all the dirty water that sort of we've pumped it through our base, it's been used, and then it comes out somewhere else. And I don't know where we're going to put that. We might just have to mine out a big sort of a big room just here and use that for it. Um, so... I think we ought to just get started on mining some of these out. So we wanted to put a... well we sort of want a floor here but I think that will cut off uh, use for this probably. So hmm, I guess we'll focus on uh, this level here. In fact I think we might even put our uh, generator just outside of our base in this sort of hot biome and then we'll sort of wall off, uh, wall off this bit with some nice insulated materials. So let's do that. Let's uh, dig out all of this, take up a bunch of duplicate time, but it will probably be worth it. Uh, we'll just do something like that for now, and then we'll replace all of this with tiles like this. Oop, not quite like that. Uh, and then I don't know what we'll use this room for, but I'm sure we'll think of something. Ah, maybe I should have put our... maybe we could still put our bathroom here. So I think a bathroom ideally is uh, five tiles high. So perhaps that's what we do actually. Yeah, maybe we... I rethink this. Uh, and we'll put a... We'll actually put that down here. That still works out quite nicely. Um, and then we just do two there, like that. And we also need to dig out this bit, like that. Uh, and then... I guess... That actually lines up quite nicely, so we've got two 5x5 five five ones here, so maybe we put, I don't know, a second laundry? It's 5x5, five five, yeah. Uh, maybe we put down another lawn laundry? Um, lavatory, that's the word I'm looking for. Or maybe we do something like, um, so, what f what other crops can we grow? If we wanted to, oh, we don't have an empty one. I think there are other crops you can grow, and I think, so there's one of them requires light, so if we put a light on the ceiling, I think a 5 um a five height room is quite useful for those, so maybe that's what we put down there. Uh, we also we're going to dig out a reservoir, right? So we'll get started on that. So we might even just use this uh, this whole bit just here, or maybe we put down another room here. So we assume this is going to stay here. We'll sort of do something with it later, say four by four like that, and then we'll put just a big big reservoir like this. Yeah, maybe something like that, I don't know. And then we can probably expand it if we need to. It's going to take a fair amount of duplicate time, I imagine, to uh, get all of that going. Let's do something like that and just see what happens. We'll probably need a ladder to get down to this bit. And we'll probably also need a ladder sort of down the side of this bit here. So. I'll just replace that with a ladder, and it means they'll be able to like do maintenance on the tank or whatever. Probably? I don't know, we'll see. So we've got these things producing a little bit of polluted oxygen. That's uh, seeping up towards the top of our base. We are going to need to do something about that sooner or later. Uh, I'm just not quite sure what yet. Uh -huh, we've got some more master jobs. Uh, so we could promote one of our dupes so they can do more stuff. I think they're probably okay being left as an assistant for now. Um. You're mining out this, excellent, and then we can sort of turn this little bit into a power plant, I think. And then we'll run 
our cables, our heavy watt cables up here. We'll put some transformers there, that'll be fine. I don't think you can mine this uh, as a apprentice miner, but that's okay. We should be able to mine through this, uh, this stuff, no problem. Do we have... Uh, we don't have insulated tiles yet, do we? Let's have a quick look. They were down here, right? Uh, insulated tiles? Yeah, so we'll probably want this next just so we can start uh, conserving some of our heat, because this bit's probably going to... Yeah, you can see there's already some heat bleeding through into this bit. But it's not a big problem right now. It will be more of an issue when we start growing our... If we do start growing the crops in here, I think it's the bristle bristle blossom? Yeah, they're the bluff briars, they're the decorative ones. Bristle blossoms are the edible ones. And they're relatively efficient, but they require light and they require a particular temperature as well, which can be can be a bit of a pain to work with. Uh, speaking of which, there's one right here, so we'll probably go and grab that. Uh, yeah, see it won't grow because it's not illuminated. There we go, so it requires 5 to 30 degrees. It requires an atmosphere of a certain pressure, but it doesn't require fertilizer or anything. Ah, it does require irrigation though. So I think... I don't know if it has to be pure water or whether we can reuse some of our polluted water for that. We'll try it out and see. Good, you're still working. You're still hard at work there. You're uh, tidying up all of this. It's food time, so go and get some food. I think we can probably deconstruct this uh, um, ration box because we've got two over in our sort of cooking area, so that'll work fine. Uh, oh, there's nothing... So I built this electric grill and I've not used it yet, and that's because we don't know of any recipes yet, so it was probably a bit of a waste building it, but it's there for when we need it, when we discover some uh, some tasty, tasty food that we can griddle. How's all these storage things going? Well, we've not set any rules to tidy this stuff up yet. We do have somebody whose job should be tidying, so perhaps we... Uh, why are you... Oh, your bed's been... Uh, had a slight cave-in, so you've... I, how long have you been sleeping on the floor? Has that been there a long time? Oh dear. There's probably been people yelling at me about that. Ah, good, research done. So we've researched the fridge and uh, some hydroponic farms, which will allow us to... We don't have to manually go and water our plants. Uh, what was it we wanted? Temperature modulation. Let's go for this next. Uh, and then we can probably get a... Where is it? Somewhere here, the water sieve. I think that'll be useful as well, because that'll allow us to clean up some of the water. Okay, we're still going to channel out all of this. We're going to channel out this. We'll probably mine down here, and then we'll put some pumps in, and then sort of start pumping this up through our base. I'm probably overwhelming our dupes a little bit with uh, one too many jobs. Yeah, particularly our farmer, I think. So, yeah, our food's still relatively stable now. I'm quite happy about that. It's unrefrigerated, it's still reminding us... Oh, so let's uh, stop stop beating around the bush and put in some fridges. So let's... In fact, I'm going to up the priority on these just so I don't forget. And food... Uh, fridge. So I'll put a fridge down here. Uh, power, power, power. And then we'll just do that. And hopefully they'll prioritise putting stuff in the fridge instead of these uh, these meal boxes. Just have a look at our germs menu. Hmm. Ah, it's all this polluted oxygen, so it's filling this part of the room with germs. Oh, that's let's sweep up some of these because these are all. Oh right, when so somebody had an accident and we decided to sweep it all up, which turned it into these bottles but they're still there, they're just not making the floor wet. So we need a way of dumping that, we're going to need a way of getting rid of this polluted oxygen as well. Um, I'm not sure how we go about that, we'll have to have a look into that later on. What else do we need to do uh, while we're... to get this all up and running? Well, I think we just... yeah, the mining is what needs to happen. So we'll say... what size room is this? This is a... Uh, we'll make it a 16. I like having uh, size 16 rooms. It may not be strictly necessary, but it'll do. And then we're going to want an airlock here, and I think we're going to want our airlock to be 4x4, 
four? No, four by two, like that. And then we'll put our power plant sort of something like this. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just try it and see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I don't think you can actually reach these top things now. They're out of reach. We're going to have to put down a tile just so you can reach. Okay, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this bottom row. So you'll do all of this, and then we'll add the bottom row back in, and then you'll be able to do it fine. Uh, okay. We need to put down a tile under our fridge, or that's never going to work. Don't need this tile. Uh, because it keeps annoying us about the fridge, I will make sure to up the priority of these so they get done. Uh, I don't know how... How much decor do these give us if they're not sculpted? Do they just count as an ugly lump of rock, or do they count as... Oh no, they're good. They do give a tiny, tiny bonus, even if they're not... Uh, even if they're not sculpted, so that's... We've, we've not made things worse by having them, they're just not as good as they could be. So yeah, you are generating polluted water and we've got nowhere to empty it. That's currently a bit of a problem. Because that is going to start filtering through our entire base. So yeah, we do want to mine this out fairly, fairly sharpish. Uh, I'm also going to make sure this this gets turned into a proper wall. And in fact, probably all of it. Like this. Um, I'll just do it like that. There we go. Just because I don't want any uh, any of this water leaking out into the rest of our base. And we're going to have the same problem that we had a minute ago, actually, with, the, uh, with them not being able to reach. So I'll just do it in sort of chunks of four. And that should be fine. We do have another duplicate available, but I'm slightly reluctant to uh, add more. I'm not sure if we can support it. I'm going to put down another cot, sort of just in case uh, we decide to have one, and also just in case something happens to one of the other cots. We can start uh, using fertilizer to produce, using polluted water rather, to um, synthesize some fertilizer, which I think some plants need, or it might just give everything a slight, a slight bonus to growth. So if we put this down here, one of our farmers, when, once they're uh, fully promoted, will be able to improve our farms. Uh, what was I after? That's right, I was, after, I was just going to put down a couple of extra cots, wasn't I? Like that. Good, we can deconstruct this now. Yeah, that polluted oxygen is probably going to become a problem, isn't it? That's it full of germs? Full of germs. Eh, not too full of germs. This room still is, but everyone's at least washing their hands, which is good. We are going to run slightly low on water, though. And this is one of those things that... Ooh, wow, look at uh, look at this. There's definitely something in here, isn't there? That'll be exciting to go and explore. I mean, we've got a fair amount of water. Getting to this will be a bit annoying because the way it's spread out like this. But yeah, the problem is, like, once, once you're far too low on water, it's going to be very difficult to fix that. So we need to make sure it doesn't become a problem, because if it ever becomes a proper problem, then we're doomed, and there's not really anything we can do to come back from it, I don't think. Uh, all food. Uh, yeah, just put everything in there. It'll be fine. We'll put down another one next to it if we need to. Okay. So how's uh so we've got no stress. Everyone's immune system is doing well. We've got plenty of calories. We've got uh, six whole duplicates. Maybe maybe we get an extra one. Let's have a look and see who we've got. Mole hands is good. More digging. Uh, you're interested in farming and ranching though. Neither of uh, you're interested in researching and digging. You're quite good at digging. Uh, germ resistance. You've got quite a lot of skills actually. Maybe we get another digger. Yeah, let's print you. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, and we'll also make you uh, a miner as well. Uh, do we upgrade either of you? I don't think we do yet. We'll worry about that later. 
but it means you get a fancy hat, it means you get some extra skill, and then hopefully you'll be able to do uh, help sort of clear some of this stuff out. Because we have queued up quite a lot of jobs all in one go. You're still uh, working hard at your advanced research, that's pretty good. So this will do nicely. Let's just have a look at this room. So hang on, that's... Oh, it's only 13 by 3. I thought it was 16. Oh, that'll be fine. I'm just trying to think. So I want to put a ladder up here and I want to um, insulate this. Or rather, I'm going to put... Yeah, the ladder and the sort of heavy wire here, but I want this sort of side to be insulated. So I guess we're going to replace these and probably this with a sort of thermal lock. And then I guess I might as well cut this bit off here. Like that. Well, like that at least. And then we'll yeah, put the air we'll shift the airlock over here so it all lines up fairly neatly. So if I assume we're gonna have a maybe just a yeah, a slightly smaller corridor here, like that. Let's not actually cancel it. Let's cancel it, we'll just uh, put that there. I feel like there there was a planning mode for this and I don't remember where it is. No, perhaps not. Oh, never mind. Oh. Uh, so, channel that up. Lovely, that's done. We can do this. And then, yeah, so if we have our sort of corridor going like that, then we'll actually want... So it'll be two like that. And then we'll put the airlock here, like this. Uh, Okay, so it does it does still work out exactly as it should have. Never mind. Okay. Ah, there's those insulated tiles, so let's actually put some of those down. Uh just to sort of try and contain our contain our heat in where we want it to be. Um, yeah, something like that, I don't know. And we'll do the same here. In fact, these probably don't need to have doors in them, if we're being honest, but it'll be fine. Uh, and then we'll probably do it around this side later on. I don't know. It'll give them something to do. It'll probably give them far too much to do. Do we have sort of temperature... Does this uh, block temperature at all? Does not seem to. Oh. So I think we can make a fairly good airlock like this. Not that one. Uh, oh, to rotate. There we go. So if we do something like this, this will uh, protect us from all of the horrible poisonous gases that are going to be outside our base like this. And hopefully that'll work. So there's still oxygen here. We don't want too much of it to sort of leak out though. So I'll just put this one on high priority for now. Later on, particularly when we pop into this chlorine gas. Yeah, look at this little thing. What a, what a weird little critter. But yeah, we don't want that flooding back into our base this way. More research is done. What should we get now? I think we want the decontamination, because that looks like it's going to be a problem. Uh, so there's the mechanised airlock. So I don't know what's the difference between the mechanised and the manual airlock. Perhaps it's just quicker to open. We'll find out. Okay, so another day, another cycle. Aha, this is all done, so we can mine this out. Uh, I think we'll probably put that as a fairly high priority. I don't want to um, uh, cancel the bottom row like that, and then they should be able to reach everything. Oh, well, this is uh, chipping in, helping doing some mining. So we could put the um, uh, where is it under plumbing? I think this uh, bottle emptier to empty out this polluted water. Uh, well, I guess we'll pop that there. I think it'll need to have a tile under it. So we'll put a mesh tile here, like that. Oh no, da Damn it. I'll just put a ladder up each side like that, it'll be fine. 
and then we can dig this too. And then this will be our, or one of our sort of polluted water reservoirs. And hopefully that will keep some of this polluted oxygen a bit more contained. It also might not, we'll see. Ah, so that's a good point. We sort of need this power plant up and running fairly soon because otherwise our fridge is uh, going to run out of uh, run out of power, which means our food's going to go off, which means everyone's going to starve. I think we should be okay though. Oh, your yeah, so blossoms. So we'll grow those down down here, I think. It may be a bit of an issue with pressurizing um, pressurizing stuff, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll set that up now. No, we won't set that up now. We've got far too many stuff going on. So, I started this episode saying we've got all these three different jobs to do, and we've sort of laid the groundwork for some of them, but it's not... well, it's not... they're not done yet, let's put it that way. Uh, bottle... so all polluted water, you can start emptying that into there. We'll also put a, um, a pump somewhere, and everything can start getting emptied into here a little bit better. Uh, we don't want people really walking through any of this, but it may just be the way it has to happen. If this does fill up, we'll just put another one next to it, and then probably... Well, we could deconstruct the wall, we could not. We could just have two separate ones. We'll see what happens. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Uh, let's put in some briar seeds. Oh, these briar seeds, do they... Did we kill our briar seeds? Do they not automatically get uh, replanted? How peculiar. Maybe we killed them off by mistake. Still, our base is looking quite nice, uh, and I think so. We laid so we've got this almost all working. Next episode, I think we'll start on our power plant. There we go. End of uh, cycle 25. So yeah, I will end this episode here. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.